Hi, I'm Sheriff Gary Hoffman. I want to welcome you to this week's Queen Anne's County's Most Wanted. As always, we've got a great episode for you with some captures and some of those wanted persons. But first of all, I hope everybody had the time to take and spend with their families this Memorial Day weekend, thinking of those who have served and those who have lost their lives in the past. We remember you. Your police department serves you every day in a different way. The police are mighty handy in these circumstances. The life savings of many persons are still intact because of expert protection by their police. In August of 2007, Corey Alexander Fisher was charged with an armed robbery and an assault. At trial, he pled guilty to attempted armed robbery and was sentenced initially to 15 years with five years of probation upon release. In 2013, he was granted a modification of sentence allowing him to seek treatment under the general health care article. By December of 2013, Fisher tested positive for a controlled dangerous substance and alcohol and left the program that he was enrolled in. Currently, Fisher's location is unknown, with the last known address of 7506 Turner Road in Annapolis, Maryland. Corey Fisher is a 30-year-old white male listed as 5 foot 11 inches tall and 130 pounds. He has blonde hair and blue eyes and he's worked as a mason in the past. If you have any information on Corey Fisher, you're urged to contact our office. And again, as always, we appreciate that anonymous tip. This is one of those clips that I hope you take the time to share. This suspect took advantage of one of our local business owners, and I'm hoping you, the viewer, our friends out there, can help identify this guy. On the afternoon of April the 18th of this year, at the Ken Island Jewelers in Chester, the owner of the store reported that earlier a male suspect had entered the store looking at rings. Soon, a second male and female came into the store. The three kept the staff busy by asking various questions as they moved in and about the store. After the three left, it was noticed that the jewelry tray with diamond stud earrings was missing. The studs were valued at $10,000. If you have any information on this suspect, you're urged to contact us or send us that anonymous tip. After Angela Denise Santo was charged with multiple controlled dangerous substance violations in January of 2012, she elected to take a guilty plea of possession of a controlled dangerous substance, not marijuana, in court on September 10th of 2013. Santo was given a four-year sentence in the Division of Corrections, but all of it was suspended but 18 months. On April the 24th of 2014, the Circuit Court for Queen Anne's County issued a warrant for her and failure to comply with the court orders. Angela Santo is a white female. She's 23 years old. Records list her as five foot three inches tall, 114 pounds, with brown or blonde hair and green eyes. Records also list that she has several tattoos, including a flower, skull and crossbones, and roses on her back, hearts and the letters A-N-R on her left wrist, and a star on the back of her neck. Angela Denise Santos's last known address is 748 Powhatan Beach Road in Pasadena. She also has had a prior address in Bay City in Stevensville. If you have any information on her whereabouts, you're supposed to contact our office. The following persons have been profiled on our show in the past, and thanks to you, the viewer, for that tip has led us to their capture. Carrie Lee Kelly. She's been profiled several times in the past and appears to finally be getting the message. She turned herself in on May 5th on another failing to appear bench warrant. On May 13th, deputies located John Henry Gant in a vehicle at a residence house in Graysonville. John Henry Gant is currently being held on multiple charges at the Queen Anne's County Detention Center. On May 13th, we received a call advising of the location in Chester where Kelly Gonzalez was located. Kelly was wanted on a violation of probation charge. Deputies quickly responded to her house and were able to take her into custody. On May 9th at about 1 o'clock in the morning, two men broke into a residence on Sherman Way in Chester, Maryland. Persons at the residence on Sherman Way reported two suspects with baseball bats had entered the apartment through a rear window. According to statements at the scene, one of the suspects struck a male in the back of the head with the bat. Another male staying at the residence was reported to have attempted to take the bat away from one suspect when the second suspect appeared. The residence fled by going out of second story window. Also in the residence were another female and two young children. The suspects identified where one of the persons we indicated, John Henry Gant, who's since been arrested, and Richard J. White. It is also reported that threatening statements and a demand for money from the victims were made. 
The two suspects then fled the area and were last seen running through the neighborhood. Richard J. White still remains at large. He's an African-American male. He's 28 years old, 5 foot 9, 150 pounds, with black hair and brown eyes. He has prior addresses in Graysonville with friends and family there. The Sheriff's Office is asking you, the tipster, for any information that you may have about the whereabouts of Richard J. White. Contact the Sheriff's Office immediately, or if you know where he is, you can dial 911. Tips can also be messaged to the Sheriff's Office Facebook page or emailed to sheriff-info at qac.org. On February 23rd, Ernest Alfred Alton was visiting a residence on Kimberly Way in Stevensville when a victim observed him leaving her bedroom upstairs. When she checked, she discovered that money was missing from her pocketbook. When she yelled for the suspect to stop, he fled the house and drove away. Alton is a white male, mid-40s, with brown hair and hazel eyes. He's listed at 165 pounds and about 5'7". If you have any information on his whereabouts, please you're urged to contact local authorities. We know that records show that his last address was 1344 Bowers Road in Chestertown, but we believe that he's fled to West Virginia since this occurrence. On April the 11th, at about 5.30 p.m., an unknown female subject robbed the Bank of America on Shopping Center Road in Chester, Maryland. The suspect entered the bank and, while at the teller window, demanded money. No weapon was displayed, but the suspect indicated there was one. Upon getting an undisclosed amount of cash, the suspect fled on foot, heading towards Route 18. None of the bank employees or customers were harmed in this event. The suspect is believed to be a white female wearing a wig, baseball hat, dark sunglasses, long white sleeve shirt, and brown shorts. Witnesses in the area reported seeing a dark colored Honda passenger car, possibly with Virginia plates, parked in the area for an extended period of time. A second suspect was reported to be in the car, an African American male with dreads. The sheriff's unit was assisted by the Maryland State Police, Centerville Canine, who all searched the area and came up with negative results. We also were assisted by the Maryland State Police Aviation Unit. The investigation is currently signed to the Sheriff's Office Criminal Investigation Unit. Anyone with any information or any tips is urged to contact our office at 410-758-0770. We know this was a busy day and we know somebody out there saw something. You may hold the clue to us solving yet another bank robbery. A special thanks goes to the staff of Queen Anne's County TV, the Queen Anne's County Commissioners, and you, the viewer, for making this yet another successful Queen Anne's County's Most Wanted. Stay tuned. We'll see you in a couple weeks. If you have any information about these wanted people or unsolved cases, please contact the Queen Anne's County Sheriff's Office at 410-758-0770 or email us at sheriffinfo at qac.org. We also recommend you follow us on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. With the tips we get from the viewers, we're hoping that some of the Queen Anne's County's most wanted get to experience this.